In this video, I want to show you how to set or change the different programming levels for your users in your DL2800 or DL3000 lock. Let's talk about some of the definitions. What is a programming level? Programming level is defined as which programming functions that a user is allowed to perform at the lock's keypad. These levels include M, 4, 3, 2, and 1. M being the highest, 1 being the lowest level. Programming function is a keypad sequence used to program a trilogy lock. Now, a keypad sequence can be um, to allow the, the passage mode or to add or change users' pin codes at the lock. So all of these are a different programming function. Now, the programming manual that comes with the lock, it has all of these levels spelled out, starting at function number one, which is changing the master code, all the way to function 99, which is defaulting the lock at the keypad. So look at your manual, find which ones you want to use, and then it will show you the uh, keypad sequence. And I'll show you an example of that in just a minute. User numbers. The user number is assigned to a user when programming the lock at the keypad. Uh, this user number is assigned to the lock, and it also attaches the PIN number for that user. So when you add, change, or delete a user, then you have to give them, uh, assign them a user number and their PIN number. Now these numbers are associated with the master, the managers, the supervisors, the basic users. Every user that goes into the lock through the keypad uh, has a user number associated with them. Now, user number one is your master code. Your master code is the highest level as far as the programming level. It can perform all the functions that are spelled out in the programming manual, and it is, it is designated as the M. Um, when you go look at each programming um, uh, function, it will have a letter or number in the description for that uh, uh, programming function, and this one if it's an M, it is a master, and it requires the master uh, credential to be used to put the lock into programming mode. Managers are users numbers two through six. Uh, these users can perform all functions except for those related to the lock configuration. Now, a lock configuration uh, function would be a level four, um, which is... Uh, changing the tamper uh, keypad lockout. So uh, if you want to change it from the default, which is six attempts and uh, 20 seconds, to a lower number and a higher amount of time when a person is just playing with the keypad, it will lock out the keypad and uh, uh, actually disable that keypad for uh, a certain amount of time. So that is a lock configuration uh, level. So you would have to have at least uh, an M or a level four to be able to do that. Supervisors can uh, program all the functions relating to a day-to-day -day operations. Their users number seven through 11. Uh, supervisor is designated as a number two, which would also allow them to, uh, to do pro uh, use programming levels uh, number one as well. Day-to-day uh, -day operations would be uh, something such as uh, putting the lock into, pro into um, passage mode, uh, enabling and disabling users or groups at the keypad, that type of thing. Basic users, which are users numbers 12 and above, they have no programming function uh, capability at all by default, but you can add uh, uh, programming levels to uh, users 12 and above, either at the keypad or with the Windows software. So I'm going to show you the keypad first, and then I'll show you the, how to do it in the DL Windows software. Now, in the programming manual, you will see each programming um, function. It will describe what that function is. It will give you the function number. In this case, it's numbers 3 and 4 for enabling and disabling users by the user number. And then over in the upper right-hand corner of the box, it will give you a programming level that is required to perform that function at the keypad. So 
this particular function, you have to be a programming level two or higher uh, to be able to perform this function. A level one would not be able to perform this function at the keypad. Now, like I said, there's two ways that we can actually add or change the programming levels for users. One is through the keypad with function number eight. Um, and then we also have the DL Windows software. So let's look at function number eight at the keypad. So you would open up your programming manual. You would find function number eight, which they're in numerical order from uh, uh, function one through function 99. Number eight is changing the user programming level ability. So first you would put the lock into programming mode, and then you would put in uh, uh, at the keypad the sequence AL, 8, AL, that specific user's number, whatever their number is, AL, and then the programming levels that you want to give them. And you can only give them levels 1, 2, 3, or 4, but you can give them multiple levels if you like. And then you would hit the star key. So here uh, is an example uh, from the manual. Uh, and you can see uh, this is a programming level 3. So at least a level 3, uh, 4, or master has to do this procedure at the keypad. So to put the lock into programming mode, you have to use level 3 or higher uh, user number. Um, you would put in that PIN code and then hit the AL. The lock will beep about 5 to 6 times. Um, and then once it pauses, then you would uh, put in the A in our push the AL button, the number 8, the AL, the user number, AL, the programming level or levels that you want to be associated with that individual, and then the star key. So let's say, example, you want to have basic user number 67, which has no programming levels uh, capability uh, by default. You want them to be able to uh, have programming levels 1, 2, and 4. So you would uh, put the lock into, pro, into programming mode and then hit the AL, 8, AL, user number 67, AL, and then programming levels 1, 2, and 4, and then star. This will give them all the programming level capability except for level 3 and level 1. Okay, So if you do not give them the, that uh, level, in this sequence, they do not have the programming capability for anything that is a level three, such as changing the level abilities. Now in DL Windows, it's a little bit easier to add programming levels to an individual. Uh, first, you would open up your global user screen by clicking on the global icon, find that individual's name and highlight it, make sure they are assigned to your DL2800 or DL3000, then click at the bottom, Assign Levels. Now, once you click here, you'll see a box open up, and it'll have levels 1 through 4 uh, for both the DL2800 and the DL3000. If I want to give them uh, a programming level, such as level number 3, which would allow them to add uh, schedules at the keypad, add users at the keypad, change the date and time, as well as day-to-day -day functions like passage mode and enabling disabling users or groups of users then I would just click once and make it green. If in the DL3000 I only want them to have day-to-day -day operations like I said using passage mode or enabling disabling users then I would highlight level 2. Now you can have multiple levels in uh, the lock so if you're going to use level 3 then I would recommend that you highlight levels 1, 2, and 3. And again, with the uh, level 2, everything below that level, I would highlight green as well. And then you would just click Save. And then you would go in uh, under Communication and send to the lock, either via the DTM or through uh, the ALPCI2U cable. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, I hope it was informative and um, you were able to learn something about how to program the uh, Trilogy Locks. If you'd like to learn more about Alarm Lock, you can go to alarmlock.com and click on the Resources tab and there's a link there so you can download programming manuals, 
You can watch uh, recorded webinars. You can attend a live webinar. Uh, you can also sign up for my uh, training blog, my technical blog. Uh, if you sign up for it, then anytime I make a post, it will go directly to your inbox. And we'll make uh, posts about new, vi new videos, new software, uh, new products, uh, basically anything alarm lock. If there's something that you would like to learn how to do, uh, a topic on the uh, Trilogy Locks or the software, you can send me a, uh, an email at aphelps at alarmlock.com. That's A-P-H-E-L-P-S at alarmlock.com. And I'll do my best to get that video uh, out and post it on this site.